Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you today about a handgun that you should recognize right off the bat. That is the Luger. This particular gun is a German Luger, but not all Lugers are German. The first nation to actually adopt the Luger was Switzerland in 1900, followed by Germany in 1904 and then uh, 1908. So the difference being that the German Navy adopted it in 1904. Their version had a, a couple other differences, but mainly a longer, slightly longer barrel. And the German Army in uh, 1908 has the shorter version, which is this one here. Uh, they called this the PO8, the Navy called theirs the PO4. Now it seems a bit backwards to me. It seems like the Navy would want the shorter barrel, being that they're on, you know, ships, tight quarters, and the Army would want the longer barrel. Uh, I'm sure there's a very good reason for that, but it just seems kind of backwards to me. Uh, now this particular example was made in 1916. It was during the Great War and was made by the DWM, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but the DWM Manufacturing, which I believe was in Berlin. So I'm going to shoot this for you today on camera, just to show you a bit how it handles and most importantly how this gun was intended to be fired, which you don't see too often. So I'm going to do that for you here in just a bit. So the shooting style 100 plus years ago, uh, really even to just 70, 60 years ago, was uh, one-handed type of pistol shooting. Today we're very used to our sort of two-handed pistol shooting that's very common today, but it wasn't back then. So now the Luger's grip angle is, is very steep. Uh, it's, it's even steeper than say like a modern Glock is. And that is to sort of emphasize this um, older shooting technique. So first off, the modern American technique is sort of the two-handed straight but uh, that's not so. With the older style, it would be more to have your side facing, and then you bring the gun down, put the sights on target, and fire. So it's a much different style today, and, and actually when you, uh, when you point the Luger that way, it's, it, it feels much more, much more natural. Um, I'll kind of point it at the camera here just to show you that way and it it does sort of feel you could really kind of feel the awkward grip angle doing that it's much more comfortable aiming it this way it's just it, it feels like kind of like a natural sort of point it's uh it's really meant for one-handed shooting and you don't see a whole lot of that okay so enough talking let's shoot the lure i have a full seven round magazine so i'm gonna shoot this in the traditional style to show you how it shoots. That was my fault. That was just uh, me messing up the trigger reset. And locked back on the last round because the Luger did that. Just like every other, almost every other modern handgun that's come after it. It's just a really cool design with some pretty modern features. All right, so as a comparison, I'm going to fire off uh, four rounds using the, uh, the more modern two-handed method, and then I'm going to fire the last three in the traditional one-handed stance, and that's just to sort of show, you know, the recoil impulse and, and both ways and just kind of see how it shoots. Okay, so problem I'm running into, actually, this is the second time it's happened today, is I'm using a uh, sort of a two-handed style where my thumb actually keeps pressing down on this takedown lever and uh, it's actually causing a stoppage in the middle of firing. So that's something I just fixed right there. And then I'll go ahead and uh, fire the, uh, try to fire the last two without pressing on that lever anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to fire it in the traditional stance. All right, and the slide locked back. And uh, it's just, to me, they just felt maybe a little smoother, less 
jerky one-handed, which is really odd. I've never thought that I would say that a handgun was more controllable one-handed than two, but it just sort of felt that way to me. But uh, go out and shoot one yourself and see what you think about them. So if you want to talk about a legacy, uh, this is the Federal 115 grain full metal jacket that I'm shooting through it. And on the side, it even has 9mm Luger. Because the 9mm round was designed for the Luger. I'm going to shoot this sort of uh, gangster style here just to show you the... Uh, the way the toggle locking system works. And now the uh, toggle locked back on the last round. And uh, this is a pretty light shooter. It just, it feels really good, really positive, better than a lot of modern uh, polymer guns. Maybe it's something similar to a, um, to like a, maybe one of the, the older SIGs or something like that. But uh, it's just a really good, Feeling gun. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate all the views. Um, if you would please subscribe, it really helps me out on making these videos. Uh, comment, let me know what you think of them. Let me know if you have any more ideas for me in the future. I have a couple videos lined up that I want to do, uh, mostly with rifles, but uh, please let me know what you think and uh, give me any ideas. I'd really appreciate it. So again, thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it and uh, I'll see you next time.